Hey, you internet. So, today's topic is exploration fatigue. Why do players get tired of exploring? I think the Simaru patch 3.0 all the way up to 3.7 right now. Like, yes, the region is massive, but I think it's a little too massive. And not only is it like on the surface level, but there's multiple layers below that. So there's a subterranean level and there is so many things to do, but I think there's a little too much things to do. And just like getting the treasure chest, I think it used to be fun, like solving puzzles and like finding treasure chests and stuff, but now it's sort of just like, it's just a grind, you know? I feel like the treasure chests aren't rewarding enough. Maybe like one pull per chest would be better instead of being like one gem or five gems. It just doesn't feel rewarding. I think another reason Apart from like having over exploration and having multiple layers in each sub region, like the past three expansions has just been desert. Like, I can understand why people don't like sand and the meme, I don't like sand from Star Wars. It's like, there needs to be variety from like the forest to desert, that was pretty good. But then it was just desert for three expansions and there wasn't much change. I think that's another reason why like players just got tired of exploration. Like Stay close. No going Yeah, off on your own. you can see the scenery's desert got a little bit of green prisoners. and stuff, but if you look all around it's all brown. Pretty much all the, everywhere. Like here just sand it's all sand you know like brown brown everywhere is brown so I feel like Fontaine's a welcome expansion because it's just different it's not brown anymore I guess we'll see a lot of blue in Fontaine and the whole gimmick of like diving is gonna be interesting. I hope it's not like a multi-subterranean diving exploration because that'd be a little bit much. Having like your surface fontaine and then so fontaine is rumored to be around here somewhere. Uh, at least that's what we've been hearing because the ocean is here so I'm guessing Fontaine's somewhere around here. Uh, that's just speculations, but... So we've got your surface Fontaine, and then we've got your underwater Fontaine. I hope that there's not like underwater caves where you have to dive down and then explore caves under water. That would be... That would be pushing it, to be honest. Like, yeah, but you get the point. Everything you see here is just brown and it's sand. And that's been like that for like three expansions. So you got your first desert. The first desert was fine. Then the second desert. And then you got your third desert. I think people are just over sand. Okay. Another reason why I feel like it's being grindy for some is that if the OG players from like 1.0 haven't quit they have been exploring since Mondstadt you know like I can understand the fatigue as more veteran players like as more players become veterans there is a fatigue that sits in because you just explore so much so, from Monster, Leeway, Inazuma, Samiru, and then Nyx, Fontaine. And then you got your mini regions, Inkonomiya, the Chasm. 
And I guess Dragon Spine as well. It's a lot to do. And I can definitely tell, like, yeah. People are definitely tired of exploration. So, I guess these, like, dead patches, 3.7, 3.8. I guess they're, like, resting periods for us to rest up for Fontaine. But also, like, how do you alleviate that problem of exploration fatigue? Sure, Fontaine's going to be new and novel, but you're still going to be searching for chests and stuff. So, would new puzzles do it? New mechanics of swimming? I don't know. Swimming, diving. How do you fix that problem of fatigue? That's a hard question to answer. I'm not a game developer, but I feel like the answer lies with activities. I know in-game isn't happening, but like, there should probably be something to do other than exploration like an end goal or something maybe that's asking too much they said we'll never have end game but we should have something to do and i don't count tcg as like that is not something that people enjoy doing do you enjoy doing tcg because even though this event was centered around tcg the desert's a tough adversary. Like, I didn't enjoy it, to be honest. This um, TCG event. Gonna be real. Like, I did the combat. Did the mechanical puzzle. And I did... What was the other one? I think the exploration, like, gliding one. Those were alright. They weren't bad. The story was fine. But forcing you to play TCG, I didn't really enjoy it. So how else can they keep us entertained but not like fatigued? And whether you take on the challenge is entirely up to you. I think if they're gonna go with the mini event route and entertain us with like new things to do, then Maybe they should introduce something that's like semi in game, but like low entry kind of thing. So it doesn't take much, but like maybe once a day you do like this activity and you get like a free artifact or something, or like a free roll on a guaranteed artifact or something, you know? Something that's repeatable but doesn't take much effort and that would probably solve like exploration fatigue something that keeps you like keeps your mind from wandering and it allows you to have goals I guess alright I think this video started off as exploration fatigue and now we're going into the territory of like changing and improving and adding in game towards Genshin and I know they're not going to add in game but we definitely need something to fix exploration fatigue so if you don't add anything the game becomes stale so you can't do that but if, if you add more stuff then you become fatigued from exploration. That's a catch-22. So I guess they gotta add something that isn't exploration, but allows us to do something in the meantime. That's definitely hard for developers. It's a lose-lose situation. I get that. So, thanks for watching. Let me know down in the comments, how would you solve the exploration fatigue? Alright, 
be sure to like, subscribe, share with your friends, ring the bell, turn on all notifications. Be sure to leave a comment. Until next time, see ya.